hey everyone welcome back to my channel hi um today's video is oh, i'm in my living room i thought let me be in my living room this morning it's what's the time gosh i don't even know what time it's probably after 10 or something like that um and i woke up to a message that really it was something so small but you know how god really can communicate his faithfulness through anything so it's day two of being 30 and the journey up to it, oh gosh, if you hear that, sorry, it's people collecting the bills. Um, yeah, it's day two of being 30 and the journey up to this has been an emotional roller coaster. I remember last year when I was 29, I was like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> This is great. So close to being 30. I'm sick of my 20s. I'm so over it. And crazily enough, like weeks before the date, I've been hit with so many mixed emotions. I, I had been hit with so many mixed emotions. It was crazy. But I'm literally learning gratitude every day. I've been told to exercise gratitude every single day. Um, so this is day two. Today I'm grateful, not just today, but I'm just gonna say it on camera. I'm grateful for my home because years before I was living with my grandparents and it was a very difficult time. I didn't have my own space. I had my own room and all of that good stuff. That was wonderful. But the circumstances were very, very different. And I am so, so, so thankful to God that I have a job that I can, that, that allows me to be able to pay to be here. Do you know what I mean? I can pay my bills, I can pay my rent, and nobody disturbs me here. I don't need, there doesn't need to be anybody to knock on my door for anything. Like, I have privacy, I can do, what I need to do when I need to do it. And I'm so grateful to God for that because there was a time, there was a time where I didn't have this. There was a time where I didn't even have um, my own, I don't know, I didn't have time for myself to be able to do these videos like this. So I'm really grateful to God for his faithfulness, you know, for giving me this place and my flatmate who is amazing, absolutely amazing through different struggles that I've had or different um, advice that I might need like really God orchestrated this whole thing I'm so grateful my guy is brought up 30 it's <laughs> I don't know how to feel, I don't know how to feel I don't know how to feel, that's, that's crazy that's so crazy. I haven't actually been able to celebrate it the way I wanted to, mainly because I was sick. I'm just about getting my sense of smell and taste back today, and it's the 12th of August. No, no, not over a week. Yes, actually, over a week. It's been over a week. Crazy. Like the whole experience. It was not, it was not nice, but God be praised because I'm still here. Honestly, it could have been a whole different story and I'm really honored that God saw fit to allow me to pass through my birthday and survive it, my God, worthy. No, God willing, in the days to come, future videos basically um, I'll take time to celebrate my 30th year because I didn't get to celebrate my 30th birthday but it is for a whole year that I'm 30 and I vow and I decree that I will enjoy this year and I will be so adventurous I will do things I've never done before and it's just gonna be lit I'm gonna do things I'm not care. 
um, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight, guys. You can see it. And it doesn't really look like it, like it does, like I have, but I can see myself. Usually, I can't see myself when I've put on weight or whatever. But I know that I've lost weight. This my appetite had fit, guys. If you know that my appetite had disappeared. Oh my gosh, it was. The funny thing is, I wasn't scared. I was very anxious. But when I tell you that it came at such a, it came at such a time that, honestly, God allowed it. I'm telling you, He allowed it because me, that is used to being a serial overthinker, God had to be like, you stay there. You're not going anywhere today. You're not going to go anywhere next week. You're going to chill. You're going to chill with me. You're going to learn what it means to rest like that is literally how I took it because I've been so active in my mind it's, it wasn't healthy <laughs> it wasn't healthy it's not even something to laugh about it wasn't healthy because at the time I was not laughing it spun me it was just too much I'm so grateful honestly honestly um, the last months of my 29th were very interesting very very uh they weren't happy months all the way through i mean let's just not tell lies you guys are nosy already i know you like to to know people's business you know um but yeah like the last few months of my 29th there was a I'm not gonna go into it, that's not. As a mental health first aider, I've learned some things. Oh, by the way, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm a mental health first aider. Um, I've learned that circumstances can, of course, alter your mood. It can make you feel things that the Bible will tell you, casting all your cares onto me, Christ Jesus because I care for you and he also says that come to me all you who are heavy laden and I will give you rest his yoke is easy and his burden is light if you have any burdens of course it's going to weigh you down it weighs you down and a yoke a yoke is like when they used to have animals um, domestic animals um, and it would the, the, the animal itself would be in like that stocks in a stock and it would pull they would pull the animal to like grind wheat and do things like that like that is a yoke and the bible says that his yoke is easy his burden is light cast all your cares onto him because he cares for you casting all your cares onto him is first peter 5 verse 7 i believe and Burden, I believe is in Matthew, if I'm not mistaken. I will put those in the description below. But I hope you guys were not too bored of too bored of this video. Um, I hope that you got some gems from it. Um, just it was just a little update. It was just a little update, just a little chit chat with you, just to let you know how I'm doing and so you know I'm still here. Because some of you, none of you that watch this. Oh, I mean, well, we'll see. <laughs> None of you that watch this, as far as I'm aware, knows that I was sick. And having mild asthma, like my grandparents were like, Sabrina, are you okay? Is everything fine? Please make sure you drink this and you do this and you do that. And I was just like, Nana, I hear you. No problem. I will do. Thank you so much. My mom called me this morning checking how I was. But yes, these things are still in my mouth at the moment. In the last video, I still had my um, green bands on them. They've been taken off, like, last month. Yeah, they were taken off last month. Um, and they just tightened the wire. So that's another update. 
Um, I asked them if they could shape, reshape my teeth because at the moment, as you can see, this one especially, this is the only, that's the only reason I got braces. I only got braces for one tooth. But now I've got the upper arch and the lower arch. And I'm like, when is this gonna come out, guys? Like, they're all straight. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm like, okay, we can take them out, right? Because we can take them out and you can just shape my tooth shape and we can just pay for the, um, what do you call it? We can pray, pray? I mean, we can pray if we want to. We can pay for the, can pay for the retainer, the top arch and the lower arch, um, which is a permanent retainer that goes on the inside of your teeth. But um, yeah, by God's grace, they're gonna come out soon. Um, and I will take you on that journey when I next go to an appointment. So you can see what that looks like, what that is like. Um, hopefully you won't see too far down the map because it's a bit like, that's a bit intrusive, do you know what I mean? But yeah guys, I'm out, see you in the next video.